Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of, oh my God, this chapter. Children of all ages, what is up? What is good? The king of lightning here today. I know, it's not the usual intro, but listen, I want to get right into it, because honestly, here's the thing. Oh, you know, skip the intro. <sighs> Togashi. Honestly, people, listen. This chapter is Togashi Yoshihiro flexing. Straight up flexing. Like, this man went to the gym. And he came back, and he's bench pressing 335 pounds for reps. It's like, bro. <laughs> like, he's on the king's level. <laughs> he's on my level, man. Listen, 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 right? Listen. Wow. Togashi. He's flex, flex. Time to impress. His pose are on point. Chapter 387 is... From the overall standpoints that I normally grade by, pacing, story, and character, each one has one component to it. One component to it. One. Just one. One. This chapter is a 9 out of 10. What? This, this chapter is a 9. To, I'm not even joking when I say that. Like, one part pacing, one part story, which ties directly into the one part of character. But Togashi is doing things where you have to go back four chapters to kind of understand the grasp and the magnitude of what he's doing here. He's, he's flexing. Like, this chapter is simple. It really is. And it's all about the fourth prince. But the execution of the chapter Togashi built four chapters ago. When it comes to the structure and the nature of the chapter. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it sounds crazy. And I thought about for a while, because you can see it as like a whole different way. Like, you can say, okay, so from these standpoints of, you know, story, pacing, and character, one part pop, that's not necessarily a good chapter. Like, actually, it should be a subpar chapter from that standpoint. But when you go to the inner workings of the chapter... Aside from what we actually learn, because what we learn is crazy, but how Togashi displays it, like, okay, this chapter has ties to chapter, direct, actual, indrawn ties to chapter 385 and 383. And I'm sitting here like, wait, what? Hold on. Like, I am very happy that I was delayed for this review, because last night, had a stream, and the stream took longer than I thought it would, like an hour, three minutes longer. Which, I'm not complaining that much, because it was a fun stream. But, I was late with, with the review. But I started to go back and read some chapters for Hunter x Hunter. And I read the chapters from uh, this latest 10 batch. And, I'm happy I did. I really am. Because Togashi is, he's flexing. So, let me show you this. And, I may get in trouble with this, because this is the actual Viz panel. And, we'll have to wait and see in the future. I'm going to, for a few weeks, read your blog Japan, and hopefully that helps when it comes to um, not getting copyright strikes. But, because I, I, this this has to be shown. Just simply talking about it will not give you the substance required. I have to show you guys. You guys are more visual creatures. Because you guys love this mug and you love this, obviously. So, let me just show you guys. This right here, you see before you, is... The first page of chapter 387, Recreation. Okay? This is the first page of chapter 385. It's the exact same page. Like, there are some minor details here or there. But even the clouds are in the same position. The panels are in the same position. Everything is in the same spot. Even the texts are very similar, if not identical. I'm not even joking. Like right here, it's using Zetsu while listening carefully. Where in the late chapter, it's Zetsu while listening carefully. So there are some text differences, but very, very minor. It's like, dude, it's the exact same thing. Granted, there's also this particular thing right here, where over here, it appears to be a maid in the late chapter. Whereas in the previous chapter, it was like another actual bodyguard. It's very small. It's really hard to see. Shut out the vis because that's where you can get the, like, the best quality. You can zoom in. You know, let me see if I can just zoom in as much as possible. All right. So as you, as you see here, it's like, you know, you like you have 
four black suits. And over here, if you zoom in closer, we have three... Stop, stop, stop. Come on, come on. We have three black suits, and we have a maid, all right, dressed in white. Togashi took this first page from Rip, directly from the chapter two chapters ago. Chapter, once again, 385. There are differences, truly, but... Here's the thing. Like, this difference is so minor. Again, when you even look at the clouds and the waves, they are different. When you look at them closely, they are somewhat different, but they're relatively the same. But there, there could be potentially a deeper meaning for all of this, which is why I'm showing it to you. Or it could just be, you know, whatever. In this chapter, from an overall pacing and story standpoint, it is simply chapter 385, told from the standpoint of the fourth prince. That's what this chapter is, essentially. And we learn about his Nen ability. And when I say his Nen ability, I mean his Zetsu. So this is the major character when it comes to this chapter, obviously, okay? He goes through this kind of experience when it comes to his Zetsu training. He sees himself from like a bird's eye view type of look, third person type of view. And he's seeing events unfolding 10 seconds into the future. That's what he's seeing. But his body is acting in real time. And it is actually very well depicted in this page right here. So let me not say well depicted because it is a very small panel, but it's important to know here. So he sees the future in his mind 10 seconds from now. If I'm right, in 10 seconds, Theta will move in real time. A cup, I get it. Theta, you're a sadist, a new discovery. Now, that could have been like a catapult I could have put in there for Theta, but... An, Honestly, that's just his stance on that, so I can't, no. But, here we have this small panel right here. Let me zoom in real quick so you guys know what I'm talking about here. So we have this small panel right here. There she goes. Tonk, tonk, and, or tick, tick, whatever, whatever that is. TK, TK. That is focusing on his ears, and he's listening. So we see the panel of Theta walking over, grabbing a cup, and then here she is with the cup, in front of the fourth prince. But the fourth prince's body is still in real time, nine and 10 seconds. So she hears Theta performing this action. In this small panel right here, he hears Theta performing this action where Theta is walking over to grab the cup. Togashi, my dude. So that was pretty cool. But then we get even deeper. We get even deeper, like way deeper. So on chapter 385, there is this particular page right here. The fourth prince, he's performing his Zetsu. Theta actually throws a Nen orb at the fourth prince. Then there's this shift in the tone of the background. The fourth prince opens his eyes. Theta is just staring, and then his eyes are closed. But the fourth prince, his eyes are open in this particular panel. So, of course, you naturally think, well, he just closed his eyes again. But... But, 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 in this chapter, we get more con a lot more context to that. So right here, in this moment, Theta is throwing her Nen orb at the fourth prince. But remember, in the previous chapter, she did that, and his eyes were still closed. That's what she saw. But in this chapter, you found out his eyes were actually open. So right here, his eyes are clearly open. She sees me with my eyes closed. The 10-second gap will reset. Then Pop, Yora hits him in the forehead. Then he speaks to her. Theta, dear, how do you feel about me? Then he says, Heh -heh, this is fun. Then once again, closes his eyes. And Theta, again, is unaware of what just happened because she's catching up. But because eyes are closed again, when the 10 seconds catches up, it's like a skip forward. She doesn't see or hear him speaking or his eyes being opened. Because she still has the same, look right here. Let me zoom in. Let me let me zoom in. She still has the same monotone face as if like nothing changed. His eyes were still closed. Togashi Yoshihiro, two chapters ago, implements this via the shading of the background. You see, as far as I can tell, this panel right here, this panel right here. When his eyes are open in chapter eight, 385, and she has this same old look, and his eyes are closed. And this right here, even though the pack is not there, which was, I think, an error on his part, on Togashi's part, which is fine, not a big deal. It's the same. Meaning that 
when his eyes open here, <laughs> told God she was hinting at what was to come two chapters later. Honestly, like that's the way I see it. Told God she was hinting at what was happening, what was going to happen two chapters later because there's a complete shift when it comes to the aura of the prince, if you would. And she doesn't notice a single thing. She makes no comment about it at all. All you see is the shading around him. It gets darker. It gets darker. His eyes are actually open. But right here we see his eyes open from the jump before it even hits him. And then his eyes will close once again so he can go back to his Zetsu. And she still has the same kind of blank stare. I'm pretty sure Togashi set that up two chapters ago. Like, Togashi, man. Like, that's the way I see it right now. This chapter is putting into question the chapter structure of previous chapters. In particular, chapter 385. But later on, we'll find out that chapter 383 is also part of it as well. But we'll get to it soon. And keep in mind, maybe I'm going too deep into it, maybe. But I feel like it, this is Togashi. Togashi goes deep. Togashi can do this stuff with ease. Like, Togashi can flex when he needs to. When his bag is in good condition and he has his vitamins and he's in a low stress environment, Togashi can flex raw. These two panels right here are hints, indications that this is the fourth prince in his own zone, in his precognition state, if you would, outside of regular perception. But the way she sees it, his eyes are still closed. And then from then on, they proceed to, to try and take out the fourth prince. In chapter 385, we see this page right here. In the later chapter, we see this page right here as well. It's a very similar page, except for the panel position where we see the fourth prince and Theta looking at each other in the latest chapter, and the clock is still the same. And in this case right here, it's kind of flipped, where we see it from like the opposite side. It's just showing you the positioning when it comes to these two chapters, where in the last chapter, we were viewing the moment from Theta's perspective. So Theta's on the right, and the fourth prince is on the left. And in this case, we're viewing it from his perspective, so the fourth prince is on the right, and Theta is on the left. And then there is a minor change here when it comes to the artwork, where this is kind of shaded in, whereas in the previous chapters, it wasn't shaded in. This area right here next to the doors. So... It is a bit fascinating there. There are other parts that are a bit different, but again, that could be more of an artistic thing, but it also could be something bigger. It could be something bigger here. Then we get on to the meat of this, and that is the moment where she tries to kill the fourth prince. And we see it play out in her perspective two chapters ago. So from her perspective, we see that he is still maintaining a Zetsu, a quote-unquote flawless Zetsu. But from his perspective, what we see is he sees the vision of Theta shooting him. Ten seconds to go. And when he opens his eyes, he sees, boom, Theta has the gun pointed at him. So the fourth prince in real time sees that Theta is pointing the gun at him. However, again, he is outside of real time in a sense. And real time continues to flow. And we see this where there's this lightish aura around Theta right here. But he himself, his actual body has moved from that position. And the fourth prince comments, of course, Theta still sees me standing there. She's going to think she actually shot me. And by the way, when it comes to the recreation part of this chapter, the title, he's having fun when it comes to this whole experience. But keep in mind here is that as this happens, Melody's, Mel Melody's flute is about to play for the entire floor. And though we see in both chapters at this point in time is the world of sound where in which Melody takes in all the people that are listening on this floor. So we see this panel right here where they're in the world of sound. And then we see it in the previous chapter where we see her and then we see him also in the world of sound. But, and this is, Togashi is flexing, man. This we know to be the true panel, not just because of this chapter, obviously, but also because Togashi already falsified chapter 385 in chapter 383 because when Melody performs the world of sound, among the cats we see shot is the fourth prince. 
He's right there in chapter 300. Flexing, man. Yeah. Togashi Yoshi Hero. <laughs> Togashi! Togashi Yoshi Hero already embedded the fourth prince's image in the slot of images of those who were shocked and affected by the world of sound the melody played in chapter 383 therefore already falsifying the events of chapter 385 and confirming that in chapter 387 the only reason why this chapter is a 9 out of 10 and honestly, it should be like a 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, it really should be. But I'm going to say a 9. Because it only has one part for story, one part for character, and one... Pacing Highland Park's not bad. But it has one part for character and one part for story. And that's really it. If there was more parts, then I would have given it a 10. Just a flat out 10. Honestly. Like, that's crazy, man. That's why a Togashi just planting the seeds. Just flexing. He falsified not 385 already because we know during this time when Theta's in the world of sound, the prince is not dead on the ground. No, the prince is right there. He's, he's, he's in it. So Togashi is verifying what we see in chapter 383 in chapter 387. And at this moment right here, the fourth prince is staring. Well, yeah, he sees uh, he's, he's in the world of sound, clearly. But he's also looking at Theta. <laughs> so, moving on from all of that, the topic continues on. And we get the... The gist of what's happening here with his ability. So this page is very important. Confirming my ability is more important than Theta right now. When I close my eyes and achieve Zetsu, I get a vision. I get a 10 second preview of the world. An ephemeral 10 seconds. So I mean like fleeting, you know, just short. If I keep my eyes closed, I continue to see a vision 10 seconds into the future. So even when he sees 10 seconds into the future, like his vision kind of goes blurry, like static. And then he continues from those 10 seconds. So he's always seeing, as long as he maintains Zetsu, he has 10 seconds into the future. His mind is ahead from that standpoint. But maybe not just his mind as well, because this. Once again, I continue to see a vision 10 seconds into the future, while I simultaneously relive the events I saw in the future 10 seconds ago, like a parallel universe. Now, I'm not too sure. Again, this could be too deep here. I'm not too sure if this was intentional. Because I feel like Togashi, if they just wanted to, they could have taken exact rips from the chapter two chapters ago and put them in, into this chapter and call it a day. But, like I showed you previously, when you go to the first page of each of these chapters, chapter 387 and 85, there are these differences, albeit minor. When it comes to the men, when it comes to the waves, when it comes to, you know, small things like, oh, well, in this case... This is a maid, where in this case, it's actual bodyguard. In this case, it's shaded differently in the other case. So I get the feeling that maybe these differences could be something as heavy as he is somewhat stepping into a parallel universe for the time being, mentally speaking. And mentally speaking... He's an, another parallel version of himself because there are an infinite number of universes that can happen if you want to go from a dimensional standpoint. There's an infinite number of yous, per se. So the reason why the clouds look a little bit different here compared to this chapter or the waves are a bit different compared to the other chapter, these two guys are a bit different than these two guys right here where this guy is more wild in a sense and his hair is more down where this guy is more clean cut and shaven and so on and so forth. Where in this case, it's three bodyguards and the maid we see. While in this case, it's four bodyguards we see. You see what I'm saying? Like, it could be the case where Togashi is building it up to where 
actually he his mental state is kind of jumping from parallel universe to parallel universe in a sense and what he's actually experiencing is something akin to a parallel universe togashi could go that far because there are these minor differences again if there is an unlimited number then minor changes can easily be shown like that because there's an infinite number of possibilities. So this could be the case when it comes to the fourth prince. It could be the case. I'm not going to say that it is, but it could be. That's a possibility. He even states it's like a parallel universe. This is possible. And then we have the run through of his powers right here on this panel. When he closes his eyes, activate Zetsu. Precognition, see 10 seconds of the future, taking up no time in the real world. In the real world. Per se. That's how he sees it in the real world. But again, understand, he could be wrong. Understand that. His current perception of what his abilities are could be completely wrong. And in fact, they could be deeper than what he thinks they actually are. So there's his world and then there's the real world. Okay, that's how he sees it. The time flowing in the real world is as normal. Then, in his world, he starts from zero, activates Zetsu, then he jumps immediately 10 seconds to the future. Continue to see Tetsu into the future while his eyes are closed, while experiencing real time until my eyes are open. Very important right there. Because for him, it's all about how fast he can get into this state, and it takes so much time to get into this state in the first place. Which is what he's working on currently. Now, open my eyes. Relive events seen 10 seconds ago. So it could be where, in this case, during this small time window, before he goes back into, let's say, his original universe he's in a parallel universe like it, togashi couldn't make it that deep bro and then after it's done the ability is dismissed and then normal time passes so currently it's time perception but you have to understand and again i think it's also shown here where before she fires the bullet there's this kind of aura around there's this kind of aura around theta and think of it from the opposite standpoint we're not necessarily at or around Theta, but Theta is acting in real time, which she is. But it's the fourth prince himself who's outside of those bounds. Where, essentially, if he's outside of real time, then in order to escape the bounds of time, he'd be outside of the normal universe. Now, again, th that could be too deep, but there are things to consider. I am so happy, bro. I am very pleased that I did not do the chapter review yesterday. Otherwise, it would have been a very basic review. All right. So. Oh, gosh, he just flexing, man. So, essentially, that's how the power scheme works. He understands what he needs to do in order to improve that. And he understands that if he can master this power, he will dominate the battle for a succession. The fourth prince. Look at it, it's thumbnail right there. So that's it, guys. This chapter, again, it, there are more parts in it when it comes from a story standpoint as well as a character standpoint. I would have given it a 9.5 or a 10, flat out. Because it's the events, but relived in a different fashion through his eyes. But because we're learning about his powers, and now we know that he knows about his own powers when it comes to Zetsu, that is very important when it comes to his character, which ties to the story as well. So they're one and the same in this case. One par for each section, and he still gets a 9 out of 10 in my book. Like, Togashi's phenomenal. He really is. Togashi's flexing. This review is all I thought it would be, and it's more of like a discussion slash review. But the main thing here is that I have to commend Togashi on his ability to structure the chapters the way he did. Because at first they seem very simple. And truth be told, they are simple. But the way it's done, it's executed so marvelously, honestly. Especially when we consider, yeah, it's the same page right here, but there's context when you look at the previous chapters. And on top of that, again, the fact that he put in the fourth print in chapter 383, he's right there, which automatically negates the entirety of this chapter at the end. From jump, the moment the chapter dropped, the end was negated by 383. And it's clarified in this chapter. That's it, guys. I'm done. Um, let me know what you saw in this chapter. Uh, I could be going too deep into it. I do want to do a stream after this whole block is over when it comes to Hunter x Hunter. Um, after this 10 chapter block is done. Because he'll probably go back on hiatus, honestly. But I think this chapter, if you read these chapters, I think they're good indications as to why Togashi is definitely, absolutely, one of the best in the shonen business. If not the best in the business. So I'm going to catch you guys, guys, later. 
be sure to rate the video. It is not that hard to do. I guarantee you that because I know that you all have a device called Zaymousu. You use Zaymousu to click, 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 rate the video, to click, 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 subscribe, to click on that bell to join the squad. And of course, comment in the comment section down below. Peace and have a nice goddamn day.